Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The WBC will not be ordering Tyson Fury vs. Dillian White next, at least not at the moment. In what seems to be some sort of cruel twist of fate for Dillian White and his fans, or depending if you're not a Dillian White fan, you might say it's the height of irony, the WBC has said the ongoing arbitration that it has with White will preclude White from having a fight with Tyson Fury for the moment, so they will not order a fight between the full champion Fury and the interim champion White until the arbitration has concluded, until it's been resolved. So this is uh, something that's cropped up at the WBC's convention. So it was expected that they were going to order the fight between the WBC champ and interim champion White. So a quick timeline, because I know for a couple of, uh, for some people, the arbitration will come as news. But a few months ago, there was uh, some news that came out. Uh, there were some documents that were being sourced as part of uh, Dillian White's arbitration. They were being sourced uh, within America. There was some court action going on to get those as part of the arbitration, which was happening in Europe. So Dillian White has been trying to force the WBC's hand, try to get a title shot, all that sort of stuff, trying to get what he believes he is owed. He's uh, entered into a process of arbitration. And obviously, the WBC is now turned around. But I guess there's a couple of things to first say before that, because with the timeline, so ahead of what would have been a fight with Otto Varlin, they said that the winner of the fight would go on to face Tyson Fury. And then uh, Dillian White gets injured, shoulder injury, and he proves to the WBC through some medical records, etc., in early November that uh, the shoulder injury was real and at the time and this is you can go see on Dillian White's um, Twitter page he retweeted uh, what WBC President Mauricio Suleiman had told TalkSport saying that Suleiman had received medical certification from the British Boxing Board of Control regarding Dillian White's injury therefore he indicated the WBC will now move forward with their ruling which will see Tyson Fury vs White ordered next. That was November 2nd, so about two weeks ago before this video was recorded. And just a week ago, or six days, Dillian White on his own social media had said, and this is on Instagram, warrior code, hashtag fury, please don't run. So now the WBC has turned around and said, well, actually, we can't order that fight, Mr. White, because your own arbitration is stopping that being ordered. So I know for some fans, they will be absolutely raging on Dillian White's behalf. But on the other side of the coin, those who are kind of sick of hearing about the whole thousand days and Dillian White has certainly made his own choices for money and avoided eliminators, etc. People will say, well, he took this arbitration and obviously it's now stopping this fight. So what could happen, though, is that Tyson Fury may, in the interim, take some sort of voluntary defense. And uh, just getting to a couple of quotes from BoxingScene.com. So Fury's promoter, Frank Warren, is quoted as saying, we want to get Tyson out in the new year. That might be against White, but having only boxed once in 18 months, Tyson will want to be active. So who knows what will happen, how long things will take to resolve, but I'm sure some people will see this as another tactic from the WBC, maybe some sort of, you know, retribution against White for forcing it into this arbitration. And then obviously they're using it against him now. So there is something, you know, it really is quite ironic that White's own action is stopping him getting his own title shot in the sanctioning body that he has been pursuing a title shot now almost exclusively for a number of years so what's going to happen now i guess that's the question and the other thing to add as well top rank had petitioned the wbc if white and fury do fight that the split of the purse would be 80 20 and part of the rationale for that is that uh, tyson fury has been earning 20 million dollars or more for his past couple of fights whereas dillian white hasn't been earning anything approaching that there was a figure that was bandied around on boxing scene saying that he earned three hundred and fifty thousand dollars for his fight with alexander povetkin which povetkin fight that's unclear but obviously 
nothing is ever assured in the heavyweight division especially for Dillian White with his uh, ongoing beef with the, the WBC who've hit back here and said no you're not getting that title shot just yet hurry up and wait what do you make of it all drop a comment loud and often hit like hit subscribe follow me on twitter boxing underscore squared i'm out